Space based architecture SBA is a distributed architecture pattern designed to avoid traditional scalability bottlenecks associated with high traffic data intensive applications. This architecture is named for its use of space, a middleware component that serves as a combination of the process the combination of the processes memory, message queue and database. It supports distribution, it's distributed data grids and parallel processing to manage the load by eliminating the reliance on a single point of failure and contention points. Components of space-based architecture include processing units, independent runtime containers that host the application components, managing both processing logic and data storage. We have spaces which are in-memory data grids that distribute and synchronize data across the network. Spaces act as a shared memory environment for all processing units. We have load balancer, distributes requests and computational load evenly across the processing units. And finally, we have the persistent storage. While the primary focus is on in-memory data management, persistent storage is used for data durability and recovery. What are the benefits of this particular architecture? Scalability. Easily scales out by adding more nodes to the distributed grid. It has performance set. High performance due to data being held in memory and reduced data access latency. We have resilience. Fault tolerance as the architecture avoids single points of failure, data and processing can be redundantly spread across multiple nodes. Drawbacks include complexity. Managing and configuring a space-based architecture can be complex due to its distributed nature. The cost. High memory usage might lead to increased cost, especially when scaling out involves adding more hardware. And we have overhead. Synchronization and consistency mechanism across nodes can introduce overhead and affect performance. Let's look at an example a real-world financial trading platform using space-based architecture could look like this. First, processing units handles different aspects of the tra trading process such as order matching, risk management, and transaction processing. Then the spaces store current trading positions, pending orders, and recent market data distributed across all nodes to facilitate quick access and updates. We have the load balancer which distributes incoming trade requests and queries to the nodes based on their current load and data locality. Then we have the persistent storage which is used for achieving um, for our, sorry used for archiving completed transaction and logs for compliance and auditing. Let's look at a real world analogy. Consider a space-based architecture like an air traffic control system where multiple controllers, which are the processing units, handle different sectors of airspace, which are spaces. Each controller has access to real-time data with flights and weather and communicates with other controllers to manage air traffic smoothly and safely with redundancy to ensure no, point, no single point of failure. Popular use cases for this is real-time data processing, applications such as stock trading platforms, and online gaming where latency can significantly impact performance. We have highly concurrent applications, e-commerce sites during peak times like Black Friday sales. We have large-scale cloud services, services that require high availability and rapid scalability, such as media streaming and large-scale web applications. Space-based space -based architecture provides a robust solution for applications requiring high availability, scalability, and performance. It is especially suitable for scenarios where application demand is unpredictable and traditional scaling methods scaling up to up or out via additional relational database resources are insufficient or cost prohibitive. If you have any questions on any of the sections that we have covered here or any of the architectures we have completed, leave them in the comments.